Hi everybody. Okay, so today we're looking at how we can use partitioning to help us halve a number. So let's take, for example, the number 64. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to partition it into the tens and the units. So 60 and 4 make 64. And what I'm going to do then is I'm going to halve each of these separate parts. So 60 halved is 30 and 4 halved is 2. And then all I have to do is add these two parts back together again. So 30 add 2 equals 32. And that's my answer. 32 is half of 64. Let's try another one now. But this time we're going to do it using an odd number. So let's take the number 57. OK, so we're going to do the same thing again. We're going to partition it into the tens and the units. So 50 add 7 makes 57. Now these two numbers are a little bit harder to halve in our heads because they have odd numbers in them. If you can do that in your heads, that's great. But if you do need a little bit of help to make it a bit easier, this is what you can do. So we can partition it down again. So if I'm looking at the tens column, I can partition off 10. 50 with 10 partitioned off leaves us with 40. So 40 and 10 make our 50. And these numbers are much easier to halve in our heads because they're even. So 40 halved is 20 and 10 halved is 5. And then we can do the same with the 7. So again, if you can do that in your heads, that's great. But if you need a little bit of help, then you can partition off this time because we're in the units column, in the ones column, we can partition off 1 7 with 1 partitioned off leaves us with 6. So 6 and 1 make our 7. And then again, these are much easier to halve. So 6 halved is 3. And 1 halved is 0 0.5, or a half in itself. And then, just like before, we just add up all these different parts. So 20 add Five is 25, add 3 is 28, add 0 0.5 equals 28.5. And that's the answer. 28.5 is half of 57.